Hello everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's resume our 2022 Complete Beginner's Guide to Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup with this ranged character, our gargoyle hunter. Alright. And we're already level 4, and we're on Dungeon 2, so not bad. I'm gonna go ahead and quiver my short bow again. Shift Q to do the quiver and we're going to go looking for the stairs to get down by the way i always just push shift x to zoom out and then i push shift and greater than uh to look for um a staircase that is down there we go and here we go dungeon three Okay, so we see a teleport scroll, and that's a good start. Remember, we already identified teleport before, so that's why we know what it is. I'm just going to shoot this orc. He's got a morning star, but he's not wearing very much armor, so we can just obliterate him. Spellbook and a bat. Bats would be things that would be very annoying. Oh, there's inner flame for us. For cast uh, for ranged characters in old school crawl and old school I mean just like three months ago because of how hard they are to hit and how much ammo they would take up but not a big deal anymore oh and I can't just recklessly fight anymore okay so we did just level up but this guy is uh, he's a knoll and he's got himself a whip so he's kind of hitting us a little bit harder than we want to but as soon as we knock him down he will fall apart. Now remember, we're still training armor and ranged weapons, and we're trying to train armor in such a fashion that eventually we reduce the uh, slowing from armor. Ringmail still slows us, but our goal is to just get plate mail to slow us somewhat less. There's a god altar right there, it's Dith. So, Dith is um, not really good for us. Good for sneaking around, but we're not sneaky, and we also don't really want shadows because we need to see things. But that's a nice god for if you want to play a stabber type character. Sneaky, backstabbing kind of character. Alright, there. this is interesting. This is Sif Muna, by the way, this blue altar. And this is a god of magic. Uh, and Sif Muna is a great god for the long game because eventually she'll start gifting you spells, spell books, and she can help you regenerate your magic reserves. But her abilities are very slow to get, uh, and so it takes a while for her to kind of really realize her potential. So that's why... A lot of the time when I play casters and I want to just, you know, get some early presence with damage spells, I go Vehumet. He has cool stuff for your spells, like increasing their range. Okay. So here come two worms. Remember, the worms are slow, so we can just kind of kite them, but uh, we need to be sure that we have a way out. We don't want to back ourselves into a dead end against the worm because they might be able to hit us pretty reasonably and we don't want that oh it's a shop wow well this is tremendous stuff here in this shop so there's a cloak there's um, a scroll of enchant weapon and a scroll of identify potion of might but uh, all eyes right now on this the longbow of flaming we cannot afford it right now uh, but we are going to put that on our shopping list so i'm going to push shift d and we need 88 gold pieces that is a ridiculously powerful upgrade longbows um they may have changed it but they used to be uh considered potentially the most powerful weapons in the game just as a type and it's branded with flaming, so we would just do fire damage with our arrows, which, you know, is a nice bonus. And then we could even enchant it, so 
everything right now is going to be on me trying to get a hold of that longbow to boost our damage output tremendously. This guy's throwing darts at me, but not a good combo. There's an altar to Zom if you want to go random fun time, and we don't. All right, we're going to identify uh, the two potions. Mutation, interesting. Identify these potions, and we found two potions of curing. Now, remember, we can't really get poisoned, but curing still is uh, fantastic for getting rid of confusion and just a light heal okay so now we're done with dungeon three just like that and i'm gonna go ahead and go down the steps to dungeon four all right i'm gonna shoot the quaka and we did okay and here's some chain mail okay so here's a jib right here now a jib has a wand of charming okay so we're gonna immediately go up the steps and just fight this kobold at that and we're not going to go back down the steps because we need to fight a jib in a more safe situation currently our will resistance is terrible so something like a charm has a very high probability of affecting us so that's scary i'm gonna um just as an experiment what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna look at my short bow and its damage rating is 13 and we slow it there by 0.1. And I'm going to go ahead and wear... I'm just going to try out wearing the scale mail and see how my stats change. I'm currently at armor class 9, 15 evasion, 0.1 slowing. And um, we'll go ahead and wear this. And we go to armor class 10, evasion 14, and... 0.2 slowing so I'm okay with this it's kind of like you know robbing Peter to pay Paul in terms of swapping armor class and evasion but let me show you and it also slows us slightly which is a pain but if I look at the scale mail you'll see that its base armor rating is 6 and if I look at the ring mail that we were wearing its base armor rating is 5 so again we are raising our base armor rating and our armor class just to help out with incoming damage now what I could do is also just try to wear this plate mail this would take us to armor class 15 but our evasion would drop all the way down to nine kind of hard to evade in plate mail and I want to see um, we're getting slowed by 0.7 so we've made some progress on that but not enough yet so I'm going to go back to the scale mail I'm going to find a staircase that's not a jib. I'm going to pick up these javelins. And let's see. Let's just kind of fire around. Try to clear this out and see if we can get a really, really big space between us and a Joe boy. Okay, there's a centaur that's got a short bow. So a centaur, like I said, whenever you find a ranged creature... It's going to be particularly difficult for us. So what we want to do... Hmm, how do I want to play this? If I walk here, uh, we have a little bit of time before the centaur will see us. But unfortunately, the staircase is all the way over here. Centaurs, by the way, move very, very well. Okay, this is actually good. I'm going to move into melee um, with the centaur. And this will make him... Uh, he's going to just try to kick me. He's he's put his bow away. And I'm going to shoot him. And shoot him again. And I'm probably going to have to use a potion here. But I feel safer against the centaur in this spot. Um, without him using his bow. Remember, there's no penalty for me in melee range with a bow, but the enemy AI, like, he just doesn't want to fire. 
So this is a kind of way that you can take uh, a difficult enemy like this and neutralize the ranged effect that they have. Centaur is not one where you can kind of like see how the ranged fight is going and trade shots with them. And then if it starts going poorly, run away around the corner because they move so much faster than this character uh, that they'll just catch up with you. I'm getting to the point where I'm going to need to use a potion, but my armor allows me to not get one shot from here. And I'm just going to try and cheese it and save the potion. That is a real judgment call on your part of when you feel comfortable using a potion. Um, and you can look at the enemy and see how much damage they're capable of doing and kind of, you know, make a cost benefit analysis. My gut told me if I got hit one more time, I would drink a potion of heal wounds. But I was just trying to wait for that to happen. Certainly, if I had dropped below 10 at any point, I would have done that. But because I was at like that 13 point range and I didn't feel that the centaur could one shot me with just bare hands or bare hooves or whatever, and I had scale armor on and a, you know, a big evasion, I felt okay. You'll see that we just leveled up to 6, and um, our armor class went up to 11, and it's fantastic. We also let our ranged skill go up to 6, so that was a good kill. By the way, I'm just going to push Shift 4 and take a gander at my shopping list. We're still short, but now that that's dead, I can save all my potions. I'm going to go in this room, push Shift C to close all these doors and just rest and of course this guy is coming here and we'll just rest again all right so we killed the goblin and there's nemelex nemelex is a really really fun god uh it's a little bit complicated to learn how to use the god powers with the different decks that he gives you but i enjoy every time i use nemelex it's just a fun extra little mechanic where you're drawing cards uh for your god ability and we just got 10 gold. All right, great. Dark potion. Okay. What we are lacking right now is we don't, you know, if you're comparing this to our Berserker run, the great thing when you start out with a divine aspect already applied to your character, like you just start out at the gate Trog or you're Abyssal Knight and you just have Laguno or whatever you get that extra set of abilities which are god powers to use on top of your other stuff and it is such a nice piece of kit to add we don't have a god right now we don't have any evocable items so our options are pretty limited like we could teleport we can heal that's pretty much it not that that's bad but uh it's just a different game okay so here's um a jib and let me just show you a jib small and twisted goblin wearing some ugly blue rag she claims dominion over this level of the dungeon those who trespass will find themselves tortured at one point and killed so she generally has one wand at the very least um and she's still carrying a wand of charming which isn't actually the end of the world for us so if you get charmed, you get confused. And that means like you can't fight as ably, but we can go ahead and quaff a potion of curing to get rid of the confusion. Okay. Uh, but now this is getting a little dicey. There's a hound. There's too many creatures here. So I'm going to start making my way to the stairs. I'll take a shot at a jib. And I'm going to pull a jib up the steps. I don't mind fighting a jib one-on-one, -on -one, okay? Even confused, I don't really mind. Um, I'm going to go ahead and switch to my dagger of venom while I'm confused. Just see if I can, yeah. So I'm now lo no longer confused, so I can switch back. It does take time, by the way, to switch your weapon. I'm not scared of a jib. She's got a club, but I've got heavy armor and... Um, a pretty good evasion, so I'm not worried about her. Sometimes she has much more devastating wands that she can use, but 
this is just more annoying than anything else. But I also don't want to use all my potions of curing. I want to save those for more like emergency situations. So this is one of the things that will help you level up in this game, will help you get better in this game, is when you just know when to use a potion or a scroll and not. And the better you get, in my opinion, the higher your tolerance will be. But again, like I keep reiterating, you don't want your tolerance to be so high that you die with potions that you could have used. Like that's a disaster and it's a very fine line. So if you are feeling uncomfortable, it's better to be alive now than to um, die <laughs> or to kind of like um, worry about the fact that if you use potions too egregiously, uh, at the beginning of the game then you'll run out of steam later yeah that might be the case but when you're a beginning player you're just trying to make it as long as you can and don't worry about that it's it's better to just experience as much as you can with one character before you die so i switch to this dagger because when you're confused um i believe unless it's been altered you have something like a one in three chance to still do the command that you wanted to do so i don't want to hit them with my bow um and certain actions you can't take while confused so i switched to a melee weapon and just tried to walk into a jib and i figured if i take the action i want to choose then i'm going to hit her and if the confusion walks me into her well then i'm going to hit her also um and if I hit her, I get her poisoned, and that's a great thing. So basically, confusion, it's kind of like you have a 1 in 3 chance to do what you want to do, and then a 2 in 3 chance to just walk to a random square um, or stay there, do nothing. Um, and in this case, we were able to hit. Now I'm going to um, switch over to my short bow. You'll see that took 0.5 of a turn, and I got confused again. So she's using like all of her wands. I'm just going to switch back to the dagger and try to hit her again. And she's poisoned and we're still confused. And uh, we're hitting her and she's confused us again. So she's using, we're never going to get this wand from her because she keeps using it. I wonder how many charges she's got left. She zapped the wand at us. Again, if this gets scary, then I'll just use my potion of healing. But I'm just thinking this is pretty hilarious. I'm getting confused, um, but we won. <laughs> At the end of the day, we win. And there's no one left. She used all the charges, I think. So we're going to switch back to our short bow. And that's that. But we took care of a jib. And we got 35 hit points uh, for making it to level 6. And oh, yep, the hound and the goblin are waiting for us. So I'm going to just do them one at a time. And the Hound is, you know, actually kind of tough, but we got it. All right, great. Poison darts. Now there's Chainmail, which would be a step up for us. Uh, I'm going to pick up these Poison darts. The Chainmail would be a step up for us in terms of base armor and armor class than the Scale Mail, but it would also slow us down a little bit so i'm going to kind of hold off until i get my armor skill a bit higher and how are we doing on money 113 okay all right so the gnolls are coming and um the knoll buddha is kind of like a support character and he has buffed this knoll that has this massive um halberd <laughs> and so that's not good I don't want to fight the gnolls like that. Oh, a weapon, weapon emporium. Wow, okay. There's a artifact quarterstaff there for relatively cheap, which is really exciting, but nothing else is good for this character. It's all melee stuff. So we'll just continue saving up, trying to get that longbow. All right, uh, let's see. Again, the gnolls are here. Knolls are, eh, formidable. They hit hard, so I'm going to go ahead and just take one knoll up the steps and work him down eventually. 
The other knoll, if I go down here, will be waiting for me with the halberd. So I'm going to find a different staircase. And so I can get some range on this guy. Yep. And now he can hit me from there, but we got a good hit on him. So I feel comfortable. Here comes a scorpion. Again, not as challenging because it can't poison us. Um, we got some money. And here comes the Buddha by himself. Uh, he is hitting us pretty hard, though. What is this whip that he's got? It's just plus zero. Okay. We have been weakened, but we killed him, and we're level seven. Wow. Fantastic. All right. That's the end of dungeon four, and we're about 33 gold away from an upgrade to our weapon. So I'm going to push shift O and just take a look at the dungeon overview. Remember, when you look at the dungeon overview, you can see what altars you've seen. And they are in white. So we've seen Dithmanos, Zom, Nemelex, and Sifmuna. And none of those are really ideal for this character. So we're going to keep going. Try to find the Ecumenical Temple because that'll be a really, really nice... Uh, boost for our character when we can find a god that we want. Uh, here's an orc. Let's just blow this guy away. Did I find any ID scrolls? I don't have any, but I'm going to go up and read these the rest of these scrolls. So, enchant armor. That is absolutely terrific. Okay. So, we don't have a cloak with this character. I'd love to buy it from the shop, but we don't have enough money yet. But I don't really... Do I want to enchant any of this right now? Not tremendously, but I'm going to enchant my plate armor. The reason I'm enchanting my plate armor, even though I'm not wearing it, and I'm not going to be wearing it necessarily very soon, is that eventually I will not want to be wearing that scale mail. I would prefer to enchant something else, but I don't have anything else. Um, so that's kind of what happens sometimes when you blind read scrolls. And we got blank. But... It's still worth it so that we can know what these scrolls actually do and save our ID potions, uh, our ID scrolls rather for potions for now. And there is an altar to Yured. Yured's a lot of fun. We could do fine with Yured um, if we wanted to be summoning the undead, but uh, I don't really want to be doing that, raising necromancy or invocations. Like I said, my plan, okay. This is getting a little bit too hard. I don't want to take more than one thing. I can walk up here. No, I need to keep going. I need to go all the way over here so that the snake can't get behind me. Now, the black bear, unfortunately, could go berserk. And that would be a complete disaster for us. Yeah, it's Berserk, so we have to be very, very careful right here. We have to pray that we can get a hit. Yeah, okay, so we got to drink a potion of heal wounds. And pray that we hit this bear. Okay, we did. The, I mean, a Berserk bear is just very, very difficult. Luckily, again, we have armor. But we had to use a potion of heal wounds, which I did not want to use, but it's better than being dead. There's a scroll of blinking. So you'll see that this character, um, there's some more plate, is... And now we have enough money. The game will tell you, you can access your shopping list. You, you now have enough to buy the longbow. So we're going to go to the shopping list, and we're going to go to the longbow. And we're going to go in the shop, and we're going to just click on this, and we're going to buy it. Yes. And then I'm going to put this cloak on the, on the uh, shopping list, as well as the scroll of enchant weapon. Fantastic. Now we are going to wield our longbow of flaming. Now let's look at the longbow of flaming. So you see it has no base accuracy, okay? Which is means we're going to hit less, which is problematic. But its base damage is 12. <laughs> and that's ridiculous and our damage rating with it is 18 and it does flame damage now 
Our scale mail slows it by 0.2, just like it did for the short bow, so it's not a huge deal. But this is a fantastic discovery here. What's this scroll? It's enchant weapon, too. How about that? We just found it. Put it on that longbow. All right. So the black bear would have been much easier if we would have had this, but now we are good. And we're going to try to save up enough money to get that cloak, get a little bit more armor class, and yes, we found a temple. All right, so the temple was on D5. Now remember, the temple can basically live anywhere between levels 4 and 7, uh, I believe. Something in that range. And sometimes you find it earlier, sometimes you find it later, and we found it pretty reasonably. So I'm just going to explore this. There's Macleb. There's Zin. There's Quaslil. Um, Kiku. Trog, our good buddy. Hepliac, <laughs> Che, Wujian, the Humit, Ru, and that's it. Darn, so no Okawaru. That was what I wanted to go with. That was my ideal pick. So what do we do instead? What would be the best for this character? Now, I have to consider, like, some of the gods are easier to play than others. <laughs> right so which one makes the most sense for this character quasal is pretty fun zin is good against the undead uh but we don't really need it so much right now trog isn't we already did trog um Wujian is better for melee. Kiku would give us a... Uh, I'm sorry. Um, Hepliac would give us a buddy. An ancestor. Uh, Rue is just hysterical. You know what? I'm actually going to not pick one. I hate to do that. But I really want Ogawaru. Now... Unless they've reworked it, you're guaranteed to eventually see Okawaru by, I believe, Dungeon 12. So hopefully it's not that deep. But, um, you know, I could see taking like a Skywa um, or Gozag or even the Shining One in some ways. But I want Okawaru, so I'm going to wait for that. And the reason I can wait for that with this character is because of the longbow that we have. So, while we don't get a god power going, we do now have a good source of damage. So, I think that our character is strong enough to survive and persevere looking for a god. But if you wanted to take one of those gods in there and not wait, I would totally understand. I just think that um, Oka is going to do the most for us in the long run, so I'm willing to be patient. All right. Now, let's go ahead and... Um, see what we're doing here. We're still training armor and ranged weapons, of course. Uh, you can always train fighting, too, to get yourself some extra hit points. We're going to do that eventually. We're just not doing it right now. Now, if I want to wear my plus one plate armor i go to 18 armor class which is just outrageous but then how much am i being slowed uh 0.6 so it's 1.9 delay which is just a little bit too rough but what if i wore the chain mail instead how does that do 14 armor class 11 evasion um 0.4 so we are at uh, let's see. Hmm. Yeah. It's not. Didn't it tell me before? Hmm. Anyway. Um. Point four. 14 armor class. I think I'm going to go back to the scale. C 
current attack delay 1.5. I'll keep it at 1.5. That's fine. All right, let's go down. And we got a white imp. Blast this away. Blast the hound. Sure. Blast all these things. Whatever. Get out of here. Great. And, ooh, interesting. Unidentified scroll. And how are we doing? Did I get enough money for the cloak? Yeah, I can go buy that cloak. I'm going to actually go do that. Uh, in just about two seconds. Ah, Steam Dragon. Okay. So, Steam Dragon is tough. But this is a situation where what we can do is see how it goes. Okay? So, what we'll do is... I'm going to step here, and then I'm going to fire. Uh, I can't see. So I'm going to open the door and step back until I can see it again. Step back. Okay, yeah. This is bad. That's what I was worried about, but... You win some, you lose some. It was just a matter of can we hurt the thing before its clouds absolutely blast us. So I'm going to use my scroll of blinking to here and move up here and go up and rest all the way. I'm going to go to my shopping list. I'm going to go here and I'm going to go in and I'm going to buy this cloak. Double check. Yeah, I don't have a cloak. We'll go ahead and buy it. And we will wear it. And there we go. 13 armor class. 14 evasion. Looking very fine. And we'll just go back down. And we'll try to find a staircase to 6 that's a little safer. Yeah, that we haven't explored yet. Ah, oh, man. Maybe this wand can help us with that steam dragon. Another black bear. It went berserk, but you see, we did so much damage to it that it just no longer mattered. Wand of Flame. Now nah, that's not the kind of wand that I wanted. Now that's um, Elvalon, which she ain't the god for, for us. Oh, it's Grinder. Oh dear. Okay, so Grinder. Um, is. She's got Paralyze and Pain. Both of which are just very scary for us because we're bad at dodging them. Do I want to fight Grinder right now? Not really, to be honest. I mean, it's not like I have a lot of choice, but what I'm going to do is see how it goes. Okay, we've been paralyzed. Well, that's horrifying. And we got her. So luckily, is if we got a hit with our bow, I figured we would be okay. We got a point of strength, which again, not great, but reasonable, will help us. And let me look at this. Point two. Yep, we went down to 1.4 delay with scale mail. The rest... Go back down. And, uh... Okay, Ice Beast will not like the Bow of Flaming at all. So that's reasonable. Okay. I'm actually going to go up. But down here really fast. I want to read some of these scrolls that I don't know what they are. Well, actually, identify these potions. Attraction. That's awful. Fear. Noise. Okay. Okay. Eh, you never know what you're going to get with scrolls, so it could have been something different. Ice Beast again. Ice Beast can do a lot of damage, you know, um, but luckily we were able to take it down. Centaur. it has got an axe out for? No one knows. We can actually, though, at this point... We can out DPS the centaur because he had a short bow. 
So this is a situation where it's like... Most of the enemies... Oh, God, that's really nice. Okay. Amulet of Guardian Spirit. We had no amulet anyway. So we're going to put on an amulet of Guardian Spirit. And what this does is it'll give us our magic points as hit points. So any damage that we take will be shared between our health and magic. So it gives us just a little bit of extra cushion. We don't even have anything that uses magic points right now. So... Alright, so in this space, we know that there's an orc wizard in front of us, so I'm just going to fire until we kill it, and we did. Alright, um, nothing we need there. Okay, this looks good. Alright, well, we're done exploring, sort of. The steam dragon is still around, but not visible. Okay, oh boy, look at all these fun people. We're going to go up and just simplify this. Take the brigand by itself and then we're okay. Let's go down and just get rid of these guys. Did you have anything good? Dagger of draining. Huh. I don't like to see that. And there is Fedhas. So we're seeing like I said, you should see pretty much all of these gods with the exam uh, with the exception of uh, Laguno uh, and some of the, the more rare ones by the time you get to, I think, Dungeon 12. So this should eventually come up. Well, there's the Shining One. We're seeing it all now. I could go Shining One. There's nothing necessarily wrong with it. Here's a Hornet. It's not great. And a White. Okay. Um, I'm going to fight the Hornet. Nah, I'm going to wait. Okay, we got to go. Got to take it up the steps. And we're just fighting back and forth. The Hornet, again, it's makes it more difficult that it can poison, but it can't poison us. And our range skill went to 9, our armor skill went to 8, and we reached level 9, which means we can crank Dexterity again. And now our character is really getting powerful. Oh god, of course, the Steam Dragon. Luckily, it didn't honestly see us. So we can rest before we fight it if we want to. Man, that was great. Alright, so let me look at this. Let me look at the longbow. And we are now um, at 1.4 delay with this armor. Uh, I'm going to go over here and go up. And I'm going to wear my plate mail. 22 armor class and uh, we are at 1.8 delay with the plate mail and I'm comfortable taking that at this point for the trade-off of the armor class so how much money do I have um, I don't have enough for enchant weapon yet I'm going to try and find the seam dragon now he's around here I just want to clear it out, if possible, so that I don't accidentally come back here and, and get owned by it. But he's really hiding. Alright, so here's what I want to do. I want to try to figure out the best place to fight it. And so I want as much range as I can get. It doesn't even hear me. I'm yelling. Hmm. Alright, fine then. There it is. Oh, and it got first attack on me. That's that's a steam dragon for you. All right, shoot, shoot. Uh, step over here. No, no, no. Okay, fire, 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 fire. Got it. Great. Okay. So now the steam dragon's dead. We're on Dungeon 6. We're ninth level. We are wearing plate mail with a longbow of flaming and ready to rock with this character. Still looking for a god to worship. I might have to settle on something that we've seen, but I'm going to wait just a bit longer to see if we can make it for Okawaru. And everyone, this is a great place to end the episode. I hope you're find, finding this series to be informative, educational, and you're having fun with it. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments down below. Take care.